Hi everyone, I'm back today and I'm going to show you a technique known as the box technique in the new math aka common core standards. So we're going to go ahead and um, jump right in. We're going to solve this multiplication problem the way that you and I know how to solve it. So 27 times 3, 7 times 3 gives us 21, 2 times 3 gives us 6, plus that 2 gives us our answer of 81. Now we're gonna go ahead and solve it with the box technique. So if you see that, that name box technique in children's homework, that should trigger this tutorial. So we're gonna break down that 27 into tens because remember that's what the new standards like is to break things down into to tens. So 27 we know equals 20 plus seven. So we're gonna go ahead and put that 20 plus seven above two sets of boxes. So 20 here, 7 here. Now we're going to bring that 3 over, and we know that 7 times 3 gives us 21, and 3 times 20 gives us 60. Now we're going to add those two up. 60 plus 21 gives us our 81 that we just got right over here. Now. I want to show you guys that we can also do this with three digits. And I'll be fast because I know we've got to get to homework. <laughs> so here we go, guys. Um, we're going to solve 652 um, multiplied by 3. And we're going to do the box method here. Okay? So we know that we can break 652 down into 600 plus 50, plus 2. So we're going to go ahead and put those numbers, once again, above boxes. And we're going to bring the 3 over. So we know 3 times 2, 6. 3 times 50, 150. And then 3 times 600 gives us 1,800. And then we're going to go ahead and add those 3 boxes up. And that will give us 6, 5, 9, 1. 1,956.